Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for DNNHero.com. In this video, I'll be showing how you can move your .NET Nook website to GoDaddy. So again, let's say that you have a website, it's hosted somewhere else, and you want to move it to GoDaddy, maybe because GoDaddy is cheaper, or even if you have developed a .NET Nook site locally, you can actually, use the same method, you can... Uh, move your site to GoDaddy. Now, uh, for the purpose of purpose of this video, I'll be using, I'll be referring to a module called DNN Backup. And this module, what we can do with this module is we can backup an entire .NET site, including site files and database, and we can uh, take those files and restore them in another place, in another location, in another, in another hosting, using uh, this module itself. So this video is not a standalone video. You should be, you would be better off uh, watching this video after you have watched the other ones that I have posted within this this video post as well, which will introduce you to this module, which will show you how you can do backups with this module. I'm not going to show how to do a backup of this module right now. I'm just going to assume that you have a backup done by this module, and we're going to grab that backup, and we're going to restore that backup inside a GoDaddy account. Now, here's the scenario that we're going to be uh, doing this right now. I have my site. Uh, online and live actually, and I'm using this module, the DNN backup module, to perform backups for my site. And I'm doing that using Amazon S3. And again, this is covered in the other videos that I have posted. Now, I'm going to take those files, the, the database backup and the site files backup. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them and I'm going to simulate that I want to move my site from the current hosting to GoDaddy. Now, I already have the backup. I'm not going to go through the backup right now. I already have the backup files and I'm going to GoDaddy to upload my backup files. So I'm going to restore my backup inside GoDaddy. How can I do that? First thing is that you have to have FTP access to your GoDaddy websites. I do have and it's already set up. You can take care of that quickly via uh, your GoDaddy login. If I go to my account, I'm just going to quickly show where you can set up FTP. I'm going to log in as my GoDaddy username. Now, here are the web hosting accounts that I have. I'm just going to click there. This dnntutorial.com, it's just a, a test hosting account that I have with GoDaddy. I'm going to click launch. And this is where I'll be moving my site over. It's like I'm moving from dnnhero.com and I'm, I'm moving to uh, dnntutorial.com, which would be my temporary domain to do the transferring. Now, here in my control panel, I can easily set up FTP. You can just click either change to change the password or click add user to add another FTP account. Not going to go through the FTP setup. I have already FTP set up in that in GoDaddy. And here it's a very basic Windows account that I have opened with GoDaddy. Not even the SQL Server database is set up yet. So we will be doing that as well. Now, what I'll be doing is I'm going to my FTP client application, which is FileZilla. I have the I have my 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 site FTP information already posted here, and I'm logging into the site via FTP. This is just basic files that were already there. The first thing I'm going to do is by using the DNN backup restore package again referred in those videos that I posted below. By using the restore pack, I'm going to place the restoration, the, the restore pack in my root folder, in the root folder of a folder that I created here, that I'm going to create right now. So here's the, is the root folder of my, of my site, my 
temporary my test, my uh, temporary site, which is dnntutorial.com, I'm going to create a folder inside of it. Because remember, with GoDaddy, the basic plan, you don't have read and write, you, you don't have write access to the root folder. You can create folders within the main, the root folder that you can grant full access, but you cannot grant full access to the root folder of your site in GoDaddy, not with the basic plan, which is the plan that I have right now. Now, I'm going to create a folder here, and I'm going to call this DNN, because this, again, will be just a temporary step. We're going to, we're going to restore the site to www.dnntutorial.com forward slash DNN. That's, that will be our application folder. Now, I'm going to click OK. And again, this is just a temporary step. Eventually, you're going to move the installation from the DNN folder to the root folder, which I have already covered in a previous video. Now, I have created the, the folder. I'm going to open the folder. I'm opening the restore uh, pack site files. I'm going to copy everything from here to our new folder. So I'm just going to drag and drop. I'm going to wait for a little bit. I'm going to pause this and come back in a second. Okay, so the restore pack is completely uploaded to the DNN folder. And again, that's the restore pack file from DNN backup module. Now, I'm going back to to my to my files here. And those these two files, those two files are one is a database backup of my dnnhere.com site, and the other one is the file, the files, the site files backup. So I have to upload both of those files to the backup folder inside the the DNN folder that I have created previously. So I'm going to upload this, those two files, the database and the site files. It will take some time here, as you can see, 31 minutes. I'm just going to pause and come back in a second. Actually, while this is getting uploaded, this file gets uploaded, let's go back to GoDaddy because we have to do a couple of other setups, um, other settings here. I'm just going to refresh this to make sure that I'm still logged in. We have to set up the database for our site and we have to set up the DNN folder as well. Let's do one thing at a time here. Let's start with the SQL database. As you can see, there are there are no database set up yet. So let's click setup to get this SQL database going as well. Now description, just gonna put any description here. This is not that relevant. I'm gonna keep everything else pretty much the same on top here. SQL Server database in username. You can put any database in username that you want. I have one that I have chosen here. It's a bit complicated, but it does need to be that complex. Really up to you. Put the password as well, which I have here. Confirm password. And you don't need to do anything else here. So that's enough. Description, database, SQL database name and username. So this this name here is both the database name and the username. Password is the user password. Now we just need to click OK. Not gonna not now. Yeah, click OK. Let's wait a little bit. It will take some time for for GoDaddy to set it up. So as you can see here, there is a pending setup and this may take up to 24 hours to get set up. So we're not going to be waiting here. Actually, it it worked quite, quite, quite fast. It's already set up. Perfect. So as you can see, I just refreshed and the status has changed to set up. So it's all done, which is great. Now, we have done the database setup again. Remember to get the to to keep the username, password, and the the database and username as well because you're gonna need that very very shortly. 
This is the end of part one of the video on how to move your .NET Nook website to GoDaddy by using the DNN backup module.